Hello there, my name is Michael Ovitt Jr. I am a property manager here for All County Associates Property Management and All County First Choice Property Management. I wanted to make this video today to introduce you to our new maintenance system called Property Meld, which we implemented not too long ago. This is the new system we are using for all of our maintenance requests and maintenance issues at a home. The first step you'll have to do is go to our website if you're an All County First Choice customer, please go to www.allcountyfirstchoice.com. If you are an All County Associates customer, please go to www.allcountyassociates.com. I will be using the All County Associates website, which looks exactly the same, and uh, we'll have the same exact tabs and everything, um, so you'll understand how the system works. Once you go to the website, you'll go to the Tenant tab and you'll click on Request Maintenance. Once you're here, you'll see this logo here. This is the Property Meld logo. Um, all you're going to have to do is sign in with your verified email for this. I'm going to go ahead and use my All County login for this here. Now since I'm also an agent for All County Associates, I have this other screen that'll pop up. This is my test case here that I'm going to use to sign in as a tenant. You guys will likely not see this screen at all. You'll likely just be brought right to the home screen. This here is to confirm your cell phone number so that you can get text notifications of conversations and updates to your meld. I do highly recommend that you do this, but since this is just a test case, I'm going to go ahead and click Remind Me Later. Now this is a meld that I made earlier um, in the day just to um, show how everything is done. I'm going to go ahead and create a new meld for you so you can see the entire process. The first step will be to go to the New Meld tab in the top right corner here and click on that. For our example here, we're going to go ahead and use an emergency situation. As you may recall from your lease signing, uh, we would like for you to type in either emergency or non-emergency in this description line, followed by the issue, so that we know how quickly we have to respond to the issue. So for our emergency issue, we're going to say there's a toilet leak and we can't stop the water. So I'm going to type emergency toilet leaking. Now for the location we're going to go ahead and put master bath. Under the category section we're going to go ahead and scroll down to plumbing because this is a plumbing related issue. On the related to past meld section you're not going to have to do anything with this if this is an unassociated meld. This is only if you have other past melds on the same issue. This is our property address right here. I have created 111 Test Street just for um, that, but you guys will see your address here when you enter in an issue. Now on our detailed description box, we're going to type in toilet leaking cannot stop water flow valve behind toilet is stuck. So in this instance, you're not able to turn off the water because the valve where the water is uh, will not turn. Uh, we'll just say for the sake of example that that valve is rusted closed and you can't turn off the water. This would create an emergency issue since it's going to be flowing water constantly and could potentially cause water damage to the home. Down here, you're going to see do you need to be present, and we do always recommend that you're present, so that's pre-selected as yes. And we're also going to need you to select whether or not you have pets so that the vendors know what to expect when they get to the property. So in our test case here, we're going to go ahead and put no for pets. I'm going to go ahead and click create. Now what you're going to see here is the appointment window. This is going to be all the dates and or times when you're available to meet that vendor. Now please remember that any date or time that you select here, if it is selected by the vendor, you must be present. Per your lease agreement, if you are not present for a scheduled appointment that you set up with a vendor, you can and may be charged 
a service fee for that vendor to cover their costs. So we're just going to say for the sake of this example that we're available Friday after 2 and Sunday morning. Now I could select a hundred of these if I wanted to, um, but these are going to be the days that I'm available just for the sake of this. Um, if you wanted to do different dates, you could scroll through here and click different dates or what have you. But for the sake of this example, we're going to use these six. I'm going to go ahead and request these appointment windows. Now what's going to happen is as soon as this is assigned to a vendor, you're going to see the vendor's name here. And that vendor is going to get all of these appointment windows that you set up for them. They're going to see this on their end and they're going to click the window that they want. Once they click that, you're only going to see one, possibly two appointment windows here. Now in the detailed description of this issue, you're going to see the categories plumbing, the locations, the master bathroom, there's no pets at the home. We have submitted the request and this is when it was submitted. This is our address. This is our detailed description that we typed. And this section here is for photographs. Please do remember that you are required to attach a photograph for every single property meld. And you are also required to put in a property meld for every single individual item that needs to be repaired. The reason for this is because there's different vendors for different items. Some items may only require a handyman others may require a plumber, others may require an electrician. So it's very important that you keep everything separate and that you put up photo for every single item so that we can see the severity of the issue and we can evaluate what exactly is going on. Now under this chat tab here, you're going to have the option to chat to me, the property manager, the vendor who's been assigned your task, and you, or you can just select managers and tenants. So me, the property manager, and the tenants. When you type something into this tab, if you do it with this option, it's only going to be viewable by your property manager and by you. Now if you want to include the vendor in one of your comments, then you would go ahead and you type it with this option where the property manager for your property, your vendor who's been assigned, and you can see everything here. So you will have that ability to separate things. If you feel like the vendor's not doing a good job or you don't want to say something to offend the vendor or what have you, um, you can just go ahead and type it directly to your property manager. Now, when you type chats in these, it will go directly to your property manager um, for an immediate response, and you will also be able to view this via email and text message. We do highly recommend that you keep your text message in the database here so that you can get things done more quickly. You're not going to have to wait for us to check email and we're not going to have to wait for you to check email. It'll go straight to your text message and you can chat with us and input any information you need to input. Now we have a non-emergency issue that I put in earlier today. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this up for you so you can view it. I also did a plumbing issue in the kitchen. There were no vendors assigned yet, and these are the appointment windows I selected, which are the same. Now on this situation, the sink was leaking around the faucet, but I was able to turn off the water under the sink to stop the leak. We still want somebody to go out there as soon as they can, though, because we don't want water dripping everywhere and raising up our utility bills. Now there would also be an attached photograph in here for that item separately, because it is a separate item. And of course, you'll have your option to do chat, just like we discussed. Now the difference between an emergency issue and a non-emergency issue, whether it be with All County First Choice Property Management or All County Associates Property Management, is once you put in your property meld maintenance request, we also need you to call the office when it comes to an emergency issue. And that's just to ensure that everything's being done quickly. Sometimes there's technical issues, internet goes down, what have you. It's very important that when there's an emergency issue, we're made aware of it right away. So whether it be um, uh, just here or what have you, we're going to need you to do for an emergency a property meld and a phone call. For an a non-emergency, you only have to do this portion here. And if you have any additional information or anything like that, you can always shoot it to email. If you have any trouble doing your property meld, you can submit it via email for emergencies. Please do not 
um, email anything separately outside of property mail for non-emergency issues. It's very important that everything be documented and logged in property mailed. Now we do not control property meld. It is a system that we use, but is not our system. So if you ever have any technical issues with property meld, please go down here to the support tab and click on there. You'll be able to get assistance from the company itself, Property Meld. You can visit them at propertymeld.com. And the last thing I want to cover for you is your notifications bell here. If you click on your notifications bell, you're going to see everything that's happened with every single issue. Um, that's on your property meld. So you can see that about an hour ago I put in a property meld for a non-emergency sink leak. Um, I submitted the meld request. Now if I, the property manager Michael, if I would have um, typed something to you it would say Michael Obit has asked you a question and it would say that question here and it would tell you exactly when that was sent. If you sent me a reply your name would be here along with your reply and if the vendor said something they'd be right below that. So. This is going to be nice here because you're going to be able to see everything in one place real quick and if you see that I typed you something, all you have to do is click this link here, the little blue link when it shows up, and you can type right back to me. So it makes it really easy to manage. Now everything is required to be in writing. So it's very important that you do everything on property meld and or v email for either office. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to your property manager. The phone number for All County First Choice Property Management is 727-614-0076. And the phone number for All County Associates Property Management is 727-853-6888. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you and you have a great day.